Alright guys, so it is me, I'm again with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. Yet again, I'm gonna do another video daily. It's crazy, I know, but anyway guys, today there was a huge update, up to 10 gigabytes for some people for Black Ops 3. This does include multiplayer and zombies and there are so many fixes and patches and all kinds of things being put into the game. But basically guys, one thing that is super important is now everybody has Nuketown. Every single person has Nuketown and the initial camo that you used to get for pre-ordering Nuketown in just GameStop, like literally like only available in like a quarter of the game stops across Canada and the US, like North, like the northern US. You could only get this camo by pre-ordering it there. I couldn't get it in Ireland or anything, but now it is available for everybody. The camo, the reticle, everything, it's all available for every single person playing Black Ops 3 right now. And it is also in New 10 24-7 right now on the playlists in the bonus section. But guys, basically this is actually really cool. Personally, I don't like Nuketown. It's I just, I find it just absolutely destroys my KD and I just play so badly when I'm playing Newtown, it's really bad, but this camo looks absolutely insane, it looks so cool, I don't know what it is about it, the blue, the white, the gold, it just looks really beast, I like it, it's really clean and simple, and it looks really cool on most of the guns, like, it, I don't know, it reminds me of the Peacekeeper from Black Ops 2, just without white and blue, I think it looks, I think it looks really cool, it looks a really, like a really nice camo, but, um, Basically guys, the Nuketown playlists are absolutely full of people, there's been a lot of like level 200s and stuff I've been running into, I don't know why, but the, le the lobbies are absolutely full, there's so many good games, granted like I said I don't particularly like Nuketown, but I've been playing a good bit of it because I wanted to get some gameplay of me using the camos, but guys this is absolutely amazing. As in terms of the patches and fixes and stuff, the majority of it was for zombies. There was like literally half of the 10 gigabytes was fixing Dead Ops 2 Arcade. Uh, there was a fair few, fair few stuff for zombies, including removing the level cap for getting the Liquid Divinium, so you can now get actually more than two per game. And now all of the Gobblegum machines are lighting all the time, and you can buy more than one per round, which is the greatest thing ever because I mean for people doing the Easter egg and things like that and fighting the boss like you really do need some of the some of the gobble gums. like you might run out and need to go get one and then it's, oh I've already got one this round so this is totally fixed now it's totally gone everything is awesome in this game now the world is good again this game is awesome I love it there's so much cool stuff going on um if you didn't see my video yesterday I'll leave a link at the end of the video for that to me trying to get some of the new stuff in the supply drops but guys that is pretty much it for me, yeah, man. It was really just a quick update video, this one, really, because I'm loving the Nuke 10 right now. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of loving it. I don't know I don't know what it is about it, but just this new camo, the new reticles and things like that, I just think they're really cool. So I've just I've been kind of just enjoying it. I haven't been playing very much Black Ops lately. So it was a nice change to actually do this. Anyway, guys, that is it for me, yeah, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure you check out some of my other videos, including my Call of Duty GTA and Destiny videos. And as always, guys, I have been Hitman. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Hitman, out. See you guys. Together we're invincible.